Well, the Menominee Falls of Faithful could get ashes to go. Michelle Fiore shows us how it works. Well, one of the coldest days did not keep the faithful away. Lori Searchant's a busy lady, so when a coworker told her she could get ashes at a drive-through, she went for it. People probably say it takes a little bit away from the whole service and everything, but when we're on time crunches like we are today, I think it's nice to be able to just drive in here and still get it done. From the busy professional to the steadfast senior, they pulled into this parking lot, and some might wonder why here in a non-church parking lot. I think in a church parking lot, people feel like they have to belong to that particular church to go there. And so we wanted to really bring the word of God out into the streets. But bringing the word of God to the streets today was no easy task. When you heard the weather forecast, were you second guessing your choice to be here today? Um, yes and no. Um, Definitely wasn't looking forward to it only being five degrees or less. Samantha Heckert's got three layers on, and it still wasn't enough for her hour outdoors. I kind of wish I had a ski mask yeah. um, and maybe another pair of gloves. Yeah. <laughs> What's the coldest part on you right now? Um, actually, my hands. Even though my mittens are pretty insulated, they're, they're pretty chilly. And Ash Wednesday services are still taking place this evening at various churches in our viewing area. In Menominee Falls, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. And this is the second year people could get those drive through ashes in Menominee Falls. Volunteers say they will be back next year, and hopefully it'll be a little warmer. Yeah, convenient, <laughs> but it was cold yeah, out there really today. Was. And this frigid